Hello everybody. Welcome back to Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. Uh, today I kind of got a, a, a different type of video. Um, the shrimp that you're uh, seeing here right now, I videoed before. These are my wild catechalons from Taiwan. Um, I've had them for, whew, I don't know, maybe a year now. And, um, you know, I don't know why, I just, uh, fell in love with them. I mean, the colors are amazing. I've never seen these colors, you know, in any other shrimp. Um, I mean, you see a lot of colors on a lot of shrimp, but for a wild, you know, I don't know much of, I really don't know much at all about wild shrimp. So, the, here's the reason that I'm doing this video because, as I said, I fed these before. I've done a video on them to show you guys the colors of them uh, and how beautiful they are. Well, I actually just found out um, by watching a video yesterday that um, these shrimp, these actual shrimp that you see are endangered. Um, that they've been, like, uh, over-farmed or over-caught um, and... Uh, they've been red listed, I guess, for years. Uh, so you can't even, you're not even supposed to be able to get them in to the United States or any other countries like that. That these shrimps are, you know, uh, they're like off the list of shrimp that you can get in the hobby. You're not allowed, you cannot get them anymore. Um, well, I didn't know that. Because, like I said, I got them about a year ago, and they, it, was, it wasn't it was even brought to my attention. I just watched a video, and I was like, wait a minute. I have those shrimp. And uh, I just thought, holy heck, how cool is that? That I actually have shrimp that, uh, you know, hopefully don't disappear. Um from the rivers, the little streams of Taiwan forever, but um, I have something that I can, uh, you know, continue with and maybe get it to where, you know, there's an overpopulation of them somehow. Uh, but yeah, I was just, uh, it, I was just astonished when I found out that that. Uh, you know, that they are in danger. And I red listed, I had no clue. Look at that big one. Look at the colors on it. It's like a rainbow. How would I, you know, it's like uh, I was asked like a year ago, hey, we got these, uh, I got a chance to get these shrimps. You want to get some with me? And, you know, they're a good price. I was like, yeah, okay. And got them, and I literally, I just... Uh, you know, leave them in a tank. I've left them in a tank probably for the past year, and I just, I sold them one time. I sold some of them one time. That's it. Because it's like, I don't really push it, because no one ever asked for a wild shrimp, but no one really knows how cool they look. But, so, there's, a, there's good and bad to this. The bad is, is if they disappear forever, that, you know, no one will, really be able to get them and it'll be the end of an end of a species but it won't be the end of a species because you know I have them and the guy the video I just saw he's got some and the guy who sold me these has some so uh and then the person that I sold 10 of them to has some uh, if he ever, you know, like takes care of them and raises them right. But the, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, we're down, you know, to a situation <laughs> as to, uh, you know, wow, you know, it's, you know, I have something that, you know, you can't even get anymore. That's, that was, you know, that's the, that's the, I guess the, I don't know. I want to say cool part that I own them, but the thing is, is, you know, if you can't get them anymore for a certain reason due to the fact that they're, you know, they've been over farmed, 
uh, you know, that's the bad part. So, like I say, the good part is that I have them and I can keep them alive and I can breed the crap out of them and make tons and tons and tons and tons, uh, you know, in case something happens and they, I don't know, need them or, you know, something. You know, I just know that I can uh, help out in some way. But, yeah. So these are kind of, uh, you know, unable to uh, get anywhere. So, you know, that's the cool thing. Because it was like, I, was, I tell people all the time, hey, I got these shrimp at home. They got more color than I've ever seen in any shrimp. Like, really? I'm like, yeah. You know, it's, that was it. You know, it's like, I don't call it, I don't, I don't do anything to this tank. I just grow them. But, I mean, they're just gorgeous shrimp. They're on an Aquion substrate. Uh, the tank is... I have the wood in there, and that wood's, I mean, it's been in there as long as I've owned these shrimp, and it doesn't stop leaching tannins ever. This tank has been dark for a year. I don't care if I drain it down to a half inch, fill it back up, it'll be dark in six minutes. Though I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a part of the success to this tank. Um, but this, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just slammed with super happy shrimp. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, I fed them earlier, so they're not going to come. <laughs> all, the, all the big snails are starting to come, uh, come this way. They smell it because I put a piece of, uh, shrimp king mineral in there and I put a, a piece of moocha. Uh, food in there, little piece. They like the moocha food. But I uh, put those two pieces in here. That big snail, he got in here quick, real quick. But I got, like, this tank has a ton of ram's horns in it. But, I mean, look at the color. It, it looks like, uh, I don't even know. The shrimp look like they're, they have every color to the rainbow, you know? But it's just like happy shrimp. Because they're so colorful. But yeah, that was just a, a shock that all the shrimp that I collect to breed to sell. I bought these. You know, back when I started. And I bought them because they were cheap. You know, at the time. And I was trying to not spend my whole paycheck on getting my shrimp uh, collection going so I bought these guys um, and uh, come to find out you can't even buy them anymore that they're endangered and on the red list of they're not allowed to be uh, imported in in the you know anywhere I guess So I thought that was kind of crazy. But I figured I'd make this uh, video again so you guys could see it. <clears throat> I hate that glare. Where's that glare coming from? It looks like a glare. Oh, it is, but... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, but they got really pretty back lines. I mean, they look like little pieces of candy, you know, crawling around in there. And they have, you know, it seems like tiger stripes, and they have like uh, uh, tangerine tigers, you know, markings. They have tiger markings. 
you know, so it's like everything that you look for in certain shrimp, but, you know, these being Neos, all the stuff you look for in certain shrimp, these guys got. But, yeah, it's blues, greens, yellows, oranges, reds, turquoise. I mean, that adult right there is just incredible looking. Yeah, these guys that eat so much food, like I said, I fed them earlier with everybody else. They're piled up at the front of the glass like this, and I didn't think they'd come up here again. And when I went to drop some food in, they're already sitting there waiting. But they breed like you wouldn't believe. I mean... The mothers just must have just had a ton of babies because usually every time I look in this tank, they're strapped. Every mother's packed with berries. You know, they're just, it's crazy. And I always ask myself, gosh, how, when a, man, I, there's going to be so many shrimp in this tank. So now I have to start making multiple tanks of these since they are endangered like that. Um... You know, make sure that nothing ever happens to them. But I'm just uh, really glad and kind of proud I'm able to be a part of that and, you know, actually own something that you can't get anymore. You know, that's so neat like that. All right, everybody. Well, I don't want to uh, keep you too long. I mean, it is uh, what everybody's got a day off from work today or something. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys and let you guys know that this is the info that I found out about these uh, shrimp that I've posted before. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the bell con notification so you can see uh, anytime that we post another video. Um, and you can see all of our up and coming videos and plus I appreciate it and my family appreciates it when you uh, subscribe um, but yeah I just wanted to uh, show you guys this like I said I videoed it before so uh, if you've watched my videos uh it's not the first time that I put them up there because, you know, the colors of them are incredible. But uh, I found this information out and I was just shocked. So if you have any comments, leave them down below. It would be pretty cool to talk about it. Uh, and uh, if there is anything else... Um, you want to talk about, you want to order, you want to comment about, uh, just let me know. All right, thanks. Everybody have a good day, and uh, stay shrimpy.